The vertical grid has made its way over to ASP.NET in version 16.1. Unlike a traditional grid, the vertical grid's data source fields are presented in rows, and the data source records are columns. If we look at the demos, you'll see some of its main features like searching, sorting, filtering, and conditional formatting. To see these demos for yourself, you can click on the YouTube card above. In this video, I'll show you how to add it to a form, bind it to data, and go over some properties. I have a new application open, and I'll add the vertical grid from the toolbox. First, I'll bind it to data by clicking on the Smart Tag. Choose New Data Source. You can bind the grid to any standard Microsoft or DevExpress database, as well as any others that return an IEnumerable interface. I'm going to choose the SQL data source, and I'll choose our sample Northwind database. I don't want to save this connection, so I'll uncheck this option. Next, I'm going to choose the orders table and select some fields like IDs and order dates. Click the Advanced button, and here you can choose the Generate Insert, Update, and Delete statements. This creates a SQL statement that allows the grid to make changes to the database records. Click Next, test the query, and click Finish. We now have data bound to the vertical grid. And let's take a look at this in the browser. Users can page through the grid with its built-in pager. Now let's take a look at some of its features from the Smart Tag. You'll see a list of checkboxes that allow you to add different options to the grid. I'm going to choose to show the Search and Summary panels, along with the Edit, New, and Delete buttons. And you'll notice below that the Allow options are checked since we chose to generate them when binding it to data. Now let's look at the Designer. Here's where you can customize the grid's rows. When I click the Add Row button, you'll see all the different types of rows to create. I'll add a Category Row, name it Shipping Information, and then add all the fields related to shipping to that category. And you'll see that the fields are now grouped under the Shipping Information, and it can be expanded or collapsed. Okay, let's take a look at some of the vertical grid's properties. First, I'll change the grid's ID. Next are the grid settings. You can see that some of them are already set since we made those adjustments from the Smart Tag. I'll expand the settings text and name the title Orders Information. To show it, I'll set the Show Title Panel property to True. I'll also set the Editing Mode to Batch Edit. Now let's look at the source code. Here's our grid with all its options that we've chosen. You can use the Smart Tag here in the code as well. I'll add some code for a total summary. The field name property is set to order ID, and the summary type is set to count. This gives us a total count of orders. Next, I'll enable the header filter for the rows. Now let's run this again and check out all the features we've added. You'll see our shipping rows are grouped under shipping information. Towards the bottom, here is the total number of orders we added in code. Users can search records with the search panel. And the total changes to show the number of matching records. Users can edit records and save them with the button at the bottom.
and they can filter through records as well. And that's it for a quick overview of our new vertical grid control. You can learn more about the grid from the documentation on our website. Click the card above for the link. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.